that's been my passion since I was a, a kid, just uh, looking for new things. And then you get into research, uh, looking into things that are at the frontier of knowledge. And working in something that is new is so much better. No? You feel like you are an adventurous person getting into unexplored territory. I am uh, Javier García de Abajo. I am the leader of the uh, Nanophotonics Theory Group at ICFO. Nanophotonics deals with light at very small distances, uh, usually over very uh, short time scales. And then dealing with that is complicated enough so that you cannot just go and experiment yourself uh, physically in your, in your lab. Uh, chances are you don't get uh, anywhere. So you have to have a good knowledge where you want to go. And if you really want to push to the frontiers of, of knowledge, you really have to have a good theoretical understanding of what's going on in your physical systems. We looked into uh, optical fields and uh, photons and the retromagnetic field in general, interacting with matter, atoms, and then the way we do it is by applying well consolidated theories of uh, quantum mechanics, of electromagnetism. Although they are well consolidated, it's not so clear how to apply them, and sometimes you uh, extract consequences that, that are completely non trivial and surprising. And this is amazing when uh, something like that uh, turns out to be what other people measure in their labs. So I think people in my group, the first uh, thing I see is that they are very motivated to do research and they are not really afraid of getting into new territories, learning new theories, developing new theories. And so this is a multicultural, I mean very diverse team. So people come from all over the place, completely different backgrounds. I think the main motivation that is common to all of us is push the knowledge towards its ultimate frontiers. So I decided to come to ICFO uh, for two main reasons. Uh, the first one is to work with Javier himself, who is an uh, international recognized scientist in his field. Uh, and on the other hand, also because uh, I knew that I would be exposed to a, a vast number of topics within nanophotonics, condensed matter and quantum physics that would help me to move further in my career. So working in Javier's school group is really nice because you get to travel a lot. Uh, in fact, I have a, two conferences right now to give a small talks and also you can uh, travel to work with experimental groups and you can have both parts, right? Like to complement these two jobs with the theoretical part that we do and with the experimental part collaborating. So the project that I enjoyed the most uh, was basically uh, where I could merge what I studied during my master thesis, which was basically quantum information and uh, quantum optics with what Javier is really an expert on, uh, which is like free electron beams applied to electron energy loss spectroscopy. And the merging these two worlds was really exciting uh, for me and still is uh, an ongoing uh, path. What I would say is the best point of ICFO is that it has a community all centered about the same ideal of creating knowledge and exploring uh, uh, really the cutting edge in, in research. And uh, every day is, is like an adventure. If you don't know something, you likely have an expert that knows about that and is the world expert uh, sitting next door. 